from BioWeno Power is a sometimes called a solar generator, which I don't get that term, but this is a BioWeno Power Pack, the BPP 160 rechargeable battery, chargeable via AC, DC, and solar. And it's got two AC 110 volt plugs in the side of it. We're going to take a look at it today. <laughs> Shut up and sit down. Ham Radio 2.0, where we do reviews, news, how-tos of things that are new in amateur radio. So this is a solar power pack. Sometimes I've heard some other places call it a solar generator. I always thought that was a strange term because it doesn't actually generate solar like the sun. I don't know. But BioWeno calls it a renewable power pack. The BPP-160 comes with a bunch of accessories, which you can see right here. So this is obviously for a 12-volt cigarette lighter adapter right there. That is for... This is... this is the, These two are different because this one's larger than this one. So this one actually charges the power pack. These smaller ones actually charge the power pack. These larger ones are power coming out of the power pack to charge something else. So if you've got a device with a with a 12 volt adapter on it, you can plug this part in and charge the device from the power pack. And if your power pack battery is getting low, then you can plug this into your car into here and charge the power pack from your car. <laughs> if that makes sense at all. This guy right here is basically a converter and you plug this into the power pack for power out and then the power out to power poles. The, the power pack itself does not have any power poles on it. But this right here is a 9 to 13 volt DC plug in. And this is a 13.8 12 amp out for your, the, with the power poles on it. So obviously you could run some, some smaller QRP rigs on it at being 12 amps out. Um, you probably couldn't do full power 100 watts on FT8, but you could do some cool stuff with it. So this is the top of the box there. It's got these carrying handles like that that lets you pick it up, folds down flat across the top. On this end is two AC plugs. This is the front side here, what I would call the front side here. Power on gives you an indicator right there. You can switch between AC and DC. So the AC out is all, obviously these two are the AC out. And it's good about sensing that when you plug in an AC uh, 110 volt plug on this side, it'll automatically switch. And then when you plug in something DC on the back, oops, something DC on the back side, it'll switch to that. It does have two USB-A ports on, on the back. This is your power input. You see input right there. This is the input. So it comes with a wall wart. I didn't picture that in this shot here that I've got. But you can charge it from a 110-volt outlet at your home. Okay, you can charge it through this guy right here like that. and also not pictured here, there's an adapter that'll take this down to the small one. So you can take this small one and plug it in here, and then you can plug in like a, um, a solar panel. According to BioWeno's website, and I emailed, I emailed Kevin at BioWeno to ask him about this because this is a little bit ambiguous. The DC input says it'll take up to 15 volt direct current, 3 amp DC plug included with the AC to DC charger. That's the one I was just talking about right there. That's generally how I charge mine. It says it also can be charged using the bundled AC to DC charger, which is this guy right here. Or using the BSP 28, 20, 28 watt solar panel, which is optional and doesn't come with it. That's just... It's one of their small fold-up solar panels that, that BioWeno offers. So I emailed him about that, and I asked him about the connection, because the connection coming out of the BioWeno 28-watt solar panel is the larger style plug. And he said, yeah, just use that adapter that comes with the BPP and plug that into the solar panel and plug it directly into the BPP-160, because this device has a built-in charge controller. So you don't even have to worry about the charge controller. You can plug the solar panel directly in to this device, and this device has the charge controller built into it. So it takes one step out of the process. You only need the solar panel and this guy. Also, he said it would take up to a 60-watt solar panel. It says 28-watt on the website. I have the 28-watt, but also have the smaller, what he calls the 40-light, which is like two more panels than the 28-watt. And it has 
the same type of plug out. And I'm like, uh, can I plug in the 40? Would that charge it any faster? That's too much for it. And he said, actually, it'll take up to the 60 watt. So I don't know why he doesn't list that on the website, but it will take a 28 watt, a 40 watt, or a 60 watt. These are all solar panels that are available directly from BioNO themselves. So if we want to look back over here at this, it obviously do three outputs right here, which is all this same type of plug right there. So you could plug this in, you could plug in, and he sells these wires and bare wires too, where there's, it's just this on one end and it's bare wires on the other end. So you can attach power poles to it. You could attach a T connector for a radio. It's got two USB A's. And then of course that is the input on the bottom of the device uh, right there. It says renewable power pack model BPP 160 battery is a lithium capacity is 167 watt hours, 15 volt, two amp DC input. AC output is 110 volts at 60 Hertz. DC output is between nine and 12.6 volts at 10 amps and USB output is five volts at 3.1 amps. So that's quite a long range of things that it will work for and things that it will power and things you can use this for. So this is great. I took this with me to my hunting lease when we went out to do the ARRL DX single sideband contest. I used it to, actually I used it to power my laptop. I was using BioNO batteries and solar charge controllers along with my buddy pole solar charge controller to power our radios. We had an IC7300, we had an IC705, with the Zygu amps, we're running 100 watts there. And then uh, Mike K at MRD was the, with us, and he we had the, uh, well, no, that was winter field day, but same thing. Uh, K at MRD was with us, and he had his um, G90 with the pack that he bought, built-in batteries. And uh, and and we, after night at 40, uh, on 40 meters, we connected the amp to that as well. He was running the DX Commander. But this guy, since we were all logging together, at the ARRL DX single sideband contest. I just used it. I, I took my laptop out. I was running N1MM. It, uh, you know, it lasted two or three hours like laptops do, and then it started to get low. So I plugged it in here, charged the laptop back up, and I actually just left it plugged in. The website on BioNO says that a laptop will take, a 50-watt-hour a laptop, which mine's actually more than that, 50-watt-hour laptop will take three to four charges. I plugged it into mine. It charged the battery back up and I left it plugged in and eventually it killed the power pack, but it lasted all day. So I, you know, at nighttime, we got the generators running in the RV trailer, went and plugged this into the AC outlet, charged it back up, did it again the next day. No problem. So it's great for if you're out in the field, if you need some sort of AC power to power a laptop or a tablet or some sort of small appliance. I don't think it would power a microwave. It certainly wouldn't power like a, like a big drill or something if you're out building stuff. And if you're out building deer stands in the middle of the field and you need to run a circular saw, it's probably not going to power that. But this is the smallest one they make. They've got, a, they've got several other options on their website. This is a 160 watt hour. They've got a 500, a thousand, a 1500, and a 6,000 watt pure sine wave inverter and charger. That one's only about $1,500. So I'm probably going to be limited to only buying two of those this month. In reality, if I could afford one of those, I would already have one. <laughs> but very convenient. This is lightweight. So if I set this on the scale, I've got a scale here, um, uh, zeroed scale. So you hopefully you can see that the light's coming from this direction so it makes it kind of difficult i guess i could turn it upside down <laughs> but i want it right side up so if we just set that there it weighs about 57.2 ounces i'm going to put that light on it right there 57.1 57.2 depending on where you where you set it oh now it's 57 so if you move it on the scale it actually gets lighter so depending on where you put it in your backpack <laughs> i'm just kidding so about 57 ounces just under four pounds being that 16 ounces is a pound and 64 ounces would be four pounds so it's just under that weight so it's probably not going to be something you want to go up a mountain with but it's certainly convenient for a camping trip for parks on the air for off-grid living especially if you're going to be carrying solar panels and other batteries with you. Uh, you could use it to charge your your uh, tablet, your laptop. You want to run WinLink off-grid. You want to run WSJTX. You want to do some digital comms, all kinds of stuff like that. So really solid piece of kit from BioNO. A special thanks to Kevin over there for sending me this. I had asked him about it, and he's like, oh, I'll just send you one. So 
full disclosure, he did send me this. This was uh, something he sent to me, and I told him I would do a re review video on it. But I actually received this during the Texas winter storm week when I was at my Galveston house in February. And since we lost power for more than three days, guess what? I took the solar panels out, charged up the batteries, and used this thing. Now, it's not going to run the heater in the house, <laughs> but I was able to get my um, 4G tablet uh, that would that actually the 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 Verizon tablet that only the only thing that actually had a connection because my AT and T phone completely failed, well the the network completely failed, so I was able to get my tablet charged, was able to get my laptop charged, was able to keep uh, some batteries, some rechargeable batteries charged up for flashlights and whatnot, so it worked. It actually was very convenient to have during that time when the whole grid was down for like three days and. Galveston during that Texas winter. But since then, I've taken it out to the Deer Lease a couple times and used it. It is a solid piece of equipment. So if you're looking for something like this, check the links in the description below. Uh, check it out. Let me know if you have one of these. Let me know if you have the larger model. Let me know if you think the larger model would be worth having and maybe what it weighs. I don't know what the 500 or the 1,000 or 1,500 watt one weighs. Um, wouldn't mind getting it. I mean, it might say on the website. You might go check it out. Uh, but this one's definitely the smallest one and the least expensive one. So if you're just wanting to power some minor things, this is a good option for you. 73, thanks for watching today. Put your comments below. Let me know what you think.